if if you budget properly, whether you are a hundred percent provider, she's a stay at home mom. Whether y'all go 50, 50, 75, 25, 60, 40, you're supposed to set an allowance aside for both of y'all. All right. That goes without saying you set aside enough, uh, a set amount of money that you can spend per week, per month. And you set aside a monthly, uh, monthly, weekly allowance for her to spend. That's kind of what people who budget do. Otherwise, you would find yourself in chaotic situations where you overspend. If there is no check, if, there, if you don't check yourself, nor if you don't check her. Should married men give their wives a monthly allowance? Should married men give their wives a monthly allowance scenario? Let's say the wife took off work for maternity leave and she decided to stay at home for a few months to raise the children. Should the husband be responsible for paying his wife a monthly allowance? And the second question I want to add to that is what if she's a stay at home mom, period, or stay at home wife? Should she receive an allowance? Let's go ahead and get into it. Let me go to uh go ahead, trigger Mike. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah. No, no. I'm gonna say I'm I'm see, this is one of those things where it's gonna trigger all the women in the chat. It's gonna trigger some of the women here too. But um, I really just kind of want to say that's actually what happens anyway. Because if a man is the only one making the money, I've you know kind of been that dude, I guess, before. And what really happens is when a man really pays all the bills, a woman actually never sees them. There have been many years when my wife never knew how many, how much anything costs. She didn't know that the mortgage went up because the tax or what, the house appreciated. She didn't know any of that. So in order to ask me for, or, or at least to spend and be a responsible steward of the money, you do got to dish it out like, hey, this is what, you know what I mean? Spend this. This is play money, but there's no more come until next month or next pay period or whatever so you know women will say allowance or whatever but i think it is actually more important today because what we see is that most people are poor stewards of money and if you let an irresponsible woman have free reign of your account and you don't set those boundaries you will find yourself coming up short in a lot of ways i do have a lot of um friends going through that situation right now that's why i kind of rushed to say no you actually might want to do that because I think some women want to buy what they want to buy. And I believe that if you are a woman that is staying home, you should be saving money for your house. There's no other reason you should be at home. You should be cooking so he don't have to eat out all the time. You should be looking for ways to coupon clip. Yeah, I said it. Co clip them damn coupons and save your household a bunch of money. Save on child care. Go pick the kids up so he don't got to pay for those activities. All that type of stuff. But if she's not doing that, absolutely. An allowance is necessary. So she comes, okay. So she comes to you, and if she wants something, she had to ask you, can she get the money for it? If it's within the budget, absolutely. Okay. And and does she have access to the money at all? Of course, of course. Um, within reason, I guess. It depends on if you're dealing with a, a responsible woman or an irresponsible one. Okay. All right, go ahead, Inaz. Exactly. So my takes a, a little bit different. So I'm Muslim. That's that's the assumption. Like that's the mode of operation is that the husband provides an allowance for his wife. Now that can be negotiated based on if her income is sufficient. Sometimes it's just you got it. Um, but if she is a stay at home and she's not working and doesn't come from wealth, um, it it's part of the the whole provider package that she gets a, a stipend that's agreed upon amongst the two of them. All right. Uh, let me go ahead and get... Go ahead, Swain. Um, I would say if, if you budget properly, whether you are a 100% provider, she's a stay-at-home mom, whether y'all go 50-50, 75, 25, 60, 40, you're supposed to set an allowance aside for both of y'all. All right, that goes without saying. You set aside enough, uh, a set amount of money that you can spend per week, per month, and you set aside a monthly, uh, monthly, weekly allowance for her to spend. That's kind of what people who budget do. Otherwise, you would find yourself in chaotic situations where you overspend if there is no check, if there, if you don't check yourself, nor if you don't check her. So I think. 
You know what I mean? I think it's I, I think it doesn't really matter whether she's a stay at home mom or not. She can go 50 50, and there needs to be an allowance set for both of y'all or for her because that's how budgeting works because shit got to get paid for outside of just y'all spending money frivolously. Um, right. Me personally, I don't um, agree with the allowance thing. I believe that um, before you get married, you marry someone that is responsible. You guys have an understanding of your budget, how you guys conduct your money together or however that works. <clears throat> and when it comes to a monthly thing, it shouldn't be a monthly thing. If you want to go buy something, I believe like, you know, you got to spend within reason. So go shopping, get everything you need. Either it's going to be for that year or for the six months, however you want to do that. Go bulk shopping throughout the months. It don't need to be something that you got to keep spending because I think a lot of people become broke or don't have enough money because they keep spending money every month. I don't think nobody, well, if we speak about women, need, need an allowance every month to spend what? I mean, learn how to do your own hair. I mean, I'm not saying every time. I'm just saying if you are looking to get financial freedom one day, you know, you got to learn how to do things on your own. I don't think it has to be like, oh, I need to go get my hair done every week or every two weeks, get your nails done. Um, when you're a stay-at-home mom, um, those things kind of go out the door anyway, unless you are already, a, um, like kind of what Inaz was saying, of wealth. But um, it's not like it's something that you need to continue to do is spend money all the time. Learn how to save your money and learn how to monopolize your money. Like you need to learn how to make your money um, stretch and how to <clears throat> make investments. There's a lot of things you can do instead of spending it all the time. So I don't agree with that allowance. Um, so. All right. Go ahead, Precious. Yeah. Um, should married men give their wives a, an, a monthly allowance? I mean... Like Lady Di was saying, you know, if you're a stay at home mom, you're tending to the children. Um, so that would have to be worked out in your budget. Right. So you're a stay at home mom. Are you homeschooling? Or are you not? Are you, you know, taking the children out for activities and things like that? So I think, you know, those things are worked out within the budget. Um, should it be mandatory to to get a, a a monthly allowance every single month? I think it it is according to what's absolutely needed in the home. Um, so that that just takes communication um, and saying, hey, this month we have this this and this planned, or this month you know this is what's going on, and we need extra funds for it. But I I don't know if it should be. I, I think it would be nice. Um, but should married men give their wives a monthly allowance? I don't, I don't know if it should be something that's mandatory. I think that all the needs in the home should just be met, you know, um, doing it through a, a monthly allowance to me is not necessarily necessary, but I think trigger Mike also said, you know, you want your wife to kind of be industrious. So you want her to be able to, you know, save money and know the importance of budgeting and why you guys are saving money for specific reasons, for specific causes. So if she has to do her, her own hair at home, I think we had this conversation before with somebody on the panel and they're like, oh, well, I can't get five, ten dollars for a haircut. It's like cut your own hair. I mean, why even spend that much if you if hey, hey, don't be cutting it for my business. Don't be, don't be out here. Let them pay me. Don't be, don't be out here telling these men to cut their own heads. Then they got to come to me to fix it. Let them Look, come to me first. There are men who learn how to cut their own hair. There are women who learn how to cut their man's hair. There are women who who learn how to do their own hair. And I'm not saying like, yeah, they should go to Sweeney, but it shouldn't. You should know how to, you know what I mean, get through on the in between times. Like, you know what I mean. It shouldn't always be something where every two weeks you're going. Um, and and honestly, for a man, I feel like y'all should do whatever y'all want to do. I, I I don't I don't I think that men should have whatever they want. But um, as far as women, uh, in a monthly allowance, I don't know if it's necessarily necessary. If your needs are getting met, like if everything that you need is, you know, you're getting that. What what additional you know do you want? And whatever additional that is, you just communicate about it. 